What do you call a man? What do you call a man? With an axe in his head. With an ass in his head. Axe. Axe. Yeah, what do you call a man with an axe in his head? Dead. Uh, an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow our official Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. And why? Because it helps, helps the, the algorithm. algorithm. And that's what we all want in life is you know, the algorithm you don't, to be helped. You don't understand how important the algorithm is. You will in a few years when the robots are controlling the world. I remember a few years ago when my algorithm dropped. Lowered your voice, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, uh, it was a scary time for me. Uh, <laughs> but the one things, the, the one thing that robots won't be able to do is comedy. Not, not they won't be able to do comedy like we can. True, comedy gold here. Comedy and sex. Today, speaking of comedy and sex, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Uh, and welcome back to Classic Month. It's Classic Month. It's Classic Month. Go tell your mom and dad. Uh, and today we are doing the 1981 the original Umrao Jan, a Hindi film, the drama musical romance, directed and written by Musafer Ali. And I believe he produced it as oh. well. Forgive if that's a mispronunciation and of the first name. I'm pretty sure it's... Starring the incomparable beauty... Rekha. Rekha. What is her last name? Does she have a last name? Or she is it does. Or Cher? No, no, no. She Well, she's gone by the moniker Rekha for years, but her full name is Bama Rekha. It's The Rekha is the middle part of her first name. Mm. And then she has a last name. And I'm forgetting it because yeah. I only know her as Rekha. Anyways. But also, uh, the other one we know in there is uh, he's a small sporting role is uh, Nasser Din Shah. Yeah. And then a uh, whole bunch of other people. But this is uh, Rekha's uh, film as well. She but is the titular character. Titular character. Yeah. Umrao, if you will. Uh I'm probably saying that wrong. But anyways, obviously, it's going to be 100% spoiler review. This came out in 1981. If you haven't watched it. Go watch it. Come back. And once again, this is the original, not the remake. That was in the early 2000s. I believe it was Aswarya Rai that replies That's a good, the role good person of to Umrao have. John. But anyways, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, well, first of all, whether I liked it or not, I absolutely did. Uh, I really liked the movie. I thought the story was great. And I two things about Reka, man. We've said it before. I, I, I don't know. If someone said to me that she is the Sorry. most beautiful woman ever captured on film, I wouldn't argue. Yeah. she's If she's not the, she's one of the most staggeringly beautiful women ever captured on screen. She upstages everybody just simply by being in frame. And then equally beautiful for me was her acting in the film so i yeah. i really liked it yeah it's actually one of my favorite classics that we it's not my favorite like um maya bazaar or anything. no it's and not there but are, it's are, are are at the top for me but this is i mean i could probably put this in my top five of classics i would agree that, that uh, i mean i'd really have to sit down and, and I, me, I me too really but it's that, it but. is in the conversation for me of my favorites of, of yeah, all time it was uh every every part it was very intriguing it was captivating it was very and and our version wasn't the best version in terms of quality uh, that that I've seen. So I bet there's a a, a better, more restored version out there sure. somewhere that I think would like. And also, <sighs> the songs weren't subbed. Don't understand. Uh, and they felt important. Uh, <laughs> I just I, even if it's just an item number, which none of these felt like they were item numbers. My suspicion is that. One of my favorite things about the film is the the script. The dialogue is is beautiful, mm -hmm. very poetic. I'm sure the lyrics were beautiful too. And you can tell at certain points in the thing, well, they're essentially singing, but they're talking to somebody, yeah, very emotionally, or singing something that's poignant about the moment. There were times I could see by the look on her face, and she had some long songs. Yeah, man. she did. But I could tell from the look on her face that things she was saying meant something. I, I just yeah, absolutely. And it's easier to sub songs. The the, the vowels and consonants are lasting yeah. longer. I don't even understand because <sighs> it happens. We you've right, we've told you before, with classes especially. They'll sub the movie, and then they're like, yeah, you don't need to know this for the song. What? Why wouldn't I need to know the subs for the song? If words are coming out of people's mouths on screen, we probably need to know what it is that they're saying. 
I don't even care if they're Whether saying, it's being sung or spoken. Roti, roti, I love roti. Yeah. Tell me. I want to know how much they love roti. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Just, oh, God, it's so infuriating. Uh, anyways, but yeah, so let's just uh, dive in here. Um, let's talk about the this, this story first, and then we'll get into Reka. All right. This one starts off immediately, and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, my word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right off, is, right from the get-go. So uh, a little girl is stolen, basically. Yeah. Uh, sold into slavery, essentially, right? Uh, yeah. I mean... High sex end. trafficking. Yeah, sex trafficking. Yep. And, and uh, which is a, a hard the two hitting, girls are yeah a hard hitting subject for obviously uh, a 1981 uh, Hindi film. Well, and it comes from an Urdu. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. I almost always do, but it comes from apparently a, a, a book. I don't know when that book was published. Mm. Was it published in 1840? Because that's when this film begins. Is in 1840. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 from that, and it's very obvious. If you if you adapt a screenplay properly, it's going to be obvious that it came from a book because they're so well written. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's yeah. clear that the story is really it was, well put. Together. It was very captivating from the from the opening because it opens with a song, right? Which was subbed. The first song was subbed. After that, no. Uh, <laughs> I I, yeah. <laughs> I uh, don't need to get into that again. But um, opens with a song, and she's getting married. And then basically the next thing you know, she's being abducted, sold, and and all, like all this stuff. And the, the actors who played her when she was younger, I thought did a fantastic yeah, I job. I did too. Both of the, the both the, of the, the girls, girls did. Um, all of the ladies, in fact, the whole cast except for a couple of little tiny spots. But for for the most part, all of the important players in the storytelling, I thought did an excellent job. And the. It was just such a engaging story, and you cared. Obviously, yeah. it was obviously pretty easy to care for uh, this character and feel for her, and and everything like that. It had some twists that I did not see coming. Yeah, uh, like the when the when the, the the prince or the king or whoever he was came in, I was like, oh shit, no, no. Yeah, I didn't. Did you see that coming? No, I did not see that coming. I was like, I oh, this is see- such a beautiful moment with them together. I also didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming. You want to step outside and fight? You can't handle me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Very Indiana Jones. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, he bites true. Got out the sword. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, yeah, multiple moments that I was like, oh, my word. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. And I, the, Not the, predictable. The uh, lady who played her, fr- uh, the, the girl that was also abducted when she was older with Rekha, that whole scene and song. Oh. I mean, every song that you just had a close up on Rekha was like, just drooling of how beautiful not only the song was, but yeah. the obviously Rekha and her beauty and her acting and you saw the emotion and it was just such a beautiful moment. And the next moment she comes in and you're like, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's such a tragedy. It is. It's a tragic story. Yeah. Um, and then in the end, obviously, when her parents came and then her brother who was there when she was abducted. <laughs> was like go kill yourself right I'm like bro like she could have helped being who she was in the first place you were there yeah like what the fuck <laughs> go kill yourself seriously like, uh, okay, it's, could you imagine a brother who forget the fact that he was there right let's just say a brother finds out that the do- his his little his sister had been kidnapped and and sold into sex trafficking and then she finally comes home, and his first thought is, whore. Yep. What the crap? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> that, obviously, it was obviously over the time, and, and and that's just how people thought about it in, in that day. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's ridiculous, but that- It's a great story. That whole moment, and then I loved how it ended as well, in terms of the, it was just her going back and wiping off the mirror and looking into a reflection. Yeah. And it's what I always tell you, it's a very strong ending frame for for a film and obviously a strong message as well. Yeah, it really does. It, it says a lot on that last frame of how throughout everything, through through, it's both sad and optimistic in one frame because on the one hand, it, it's talking about the tragedy and the brokenness of her life mm-hmm. and how anything and everything without having anything to do with her everything around her just is falls apart and crumbles yet she retains her dignity and her beauty 
throughout the whole thing so that even in the end in the midst of all of that she wipes off the mirror and you still see that beautiful face yeah i, I love the end yeah and and reka uh obviously i wanted to get to uh at, at least one reka uh, film before i want to see everything we, she's ever done. we ended and obviously i know this is one of her most famous roles if not her, her most famous mm -hmm. um and so i I, I knew I wanted to watch this one. It was kind of hard to find, honestly. It wasn't on any Which is a shame. streaming platforms or anything like that. But um, sh her performance, it just right when obviously the change happened in the song and it, it transformed into a, a time jump, her as a an older woman, you're just like, holy <laughs> shit. Like she is one of the most gorgeous women uh, ever. ever. And she has such a uniqueness I think to her beauty she's very like i don't know if it's called dark and dusky or whatever the the term is but she has like the darkness of what the makeup they put on her eyes and yeah i i, I just i honestly i've been thinking about it a lot since we first saw her and then when we saw her i mean her her presence in that horror film that we recently watched um i i've really been fascinated by her and this film there, I've never seen an actress more stunningly beautiful on film. She, 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 her, which is why, which is why it's a. Uh, I think I've seen the remake, obviously, but Ashwari Rai, I think, would be a good. Uh, she's the only one, but also she, it's very different. Rekha has almost a danger to her look a yes, little bit sometimes, and like yes. an edge. Ashwari is just. Just drop dead gorgeous. Yes, just one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. Yes, uh, and she car she conveys so, a playful innocence. Yeah, and so she, and I think she had innocence, but she, though just her look in general conveys a little more danger, a little more maturity, a little bit at times. Um, but obviously, what Ashwari did in uh, PS One, I mean, kind of. Oh my goodness, she can yeah. do it. It's, obviously, it's, it's, she's not saying she can't do it. Every people in both camps have an ab absolute. It's like. Talking about who was better, you know, in, in sports when you have those conversations. Well, I but to, if somebody, if somebody were to say to me, you know, if someone put a gun to my head and say, "Who's the most beautiful woman you ever seen on film, as an actress on film?" I would t right now today, I would say, I, I, "It's got to be this woman." Uh, and, Tom and, Hanks and bosom buddies. And the the other thing, <laughs> one of the reasons, and I don't say this as as a, uh, I'm genuinely honest about this. A huge reason why she's beautiful, aside from just the physical perfection of, of her face and her arms and her body, everything. She's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful woman, is that I can tell by the way she acts, especially in 1981 mm -hmm. in Indian cinema, that this was a woman who took the craft seriously mm -hmm. and she took the role seriously and probably <laughs> has spent most of her life having to fight for her right to focus on just being an artist and not being just. I mean, she absolutely should hold the banner high of being a gorgeous sex symbol. Yeah. 100%. She should own that. Yeah. Yet, I would hope that she's she's equally, if not more respected for the quality of her work. And it that's part of what makes her so beautiful is you can see the essence of who she is as a person. Mm -hmm. Good actors do that. You you get a piece of them in every role, and I felt like we got a big, big piece of her heart in this uh, film. So yeah, the, I uh, love this lady. I thought her uh, performance was really, really good. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And like the the scene when the 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 king came in, and you <laughs> realize that that's the what they just had this beautiful, beautiful scene together. Now there's this whole other element involved. Yeah. Um, that obviously it's not the woman's fault. <laughs> yeah. He's a king. I guess he can do whatever the hell he wants, right? But <laughs> um, right. But when right when he came in, you saw the devastation on her face. Yes. Of, for multiple reasons, you saw so much going on behind her eyes, and and to and she didn't say anything in that moment. She doesn't have to. Yeah. And, but, she says so much with again, her face. Once again, the eyes. mark of a of a great actor. Yeah. Of just being able to convey that much without saying a word. Yep. Uh, and she had so many moments like that in 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 the film. And That's it, why I can name I can list so many models or actresses who also model who are who are really beautiful ladies, but they're terrible actors. Mm -hmm. They just they just they, there's nothing there. 
when they're on screen. You can see them in a photograph and on screen you can say, oh, yeah, she's absolutely a beautiful girl. But there's there's no depth of yeah, soul. Yeah, put like Gal Gadot in this role and it's not yeah, going to be the no same. Yeah, no offense to Gal. She's a beautiful lady and she's she can do very solid work as an actor. But this is – this this is a special special lady yeah and i thought her dancing as well i mean i'm a, a novice obviously or less than a novice i'm an idiot uh in, <laughs> in terms of the knowledge of like how good she actually did but it looked like she was a professional dancer yeah, she, to me i i there was never a moment in this film where i didn't believe she was umrao john mm -hmm. i believed we were watching this woman in these situations doing what she was doing I never saw her indicating. I never saw her looking to do something just because it was something she needed to do. And the most important aspect is for a woman who undoubtedly knows she's a pretty lady, I saw her focusing far more on the inner work and the inner story of this character. Mm -hmm. And that's what made the movie. So she carries the film. Yeah. And obviously it's composed by. Um... Oh, the music was beautiful. Uh, Kayam, and if I've mispronounced that, forgive me, but the music was beautiful. Yeah, the music, I mean, once again, I wish we had subs. I know. So you could see the beauty of the lyrics. You can tell, like, just like the, the rest of the film was very poetic. And so I'd assume that the the songs were also like Gulzar style lyrics, yeah. right? Of, yeah, or Tagore. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh, so many of those, but unfortunately we didn't have the subs. But yeah, all the songs, I mean... There's just so much beauty about it because you get the visuals of the either the dance or the performance, and then you get the sound, and then you get Reka with her performance and her dance. And, and, and I'm thankful for the quality of the subs because I'm I guarantee the the English translation, no matter how good it is, is not going to be comparable to the, the original no. language no, 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 of no. the poetry. Yeah. It, 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 I know it never is, never but is. I really felt that the subs did an, a, a good job of making the poetry make sense, at least get some of the heart of what was intended. And one of my favorite things about the film is the script. Uh, Nasserdin Shah, also, he had a, a small role, but obviously he always knocks it out of the park uh, with his roles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I thought he was going to have a, a little bigger role at, yeah, I, at first. I, I did too at first. Because um, I thought he was going to be the one she fell in love with. Right, I did too. Um, but then, obviously, it, it, his character, and that, that was another twist of... Like that whole when they try to bring her back and, and abduct her back right. and, and all that kind of I didn't know if it was going to end with her like killing herself. Yeah, or, I or, was anticipating that, that probability. Yeah, or just dying that she would die. Um, so I, but again, the ending surprised me, as did many things in the story. Yeah, I, I was not able to predict a lot of what was going See, on. See, I don't have to have a sad ending. I just need a strong ending. And so this, yeah, be yeah I mean, believable ending. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this isn't really. I wouldn't say it not a sad ending. It is. <laughs> it's a, it's mixed. You know what you get? It's that. It's the weird. You get the sense of that. It's so sad and everything's broken, but she is. No matter what she goes through, she's going to hold her head up. Mm -hmm. That she's got this resilience, and which, if we know anything, and we know a little bit about Reka's life, I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons she's so good in this role. Yeah, I mean, because the stuff that she would go through in her life uh, is got to have a pretty strong core of who you are to walk through all of that and come out. I don't know if you saw her. She recently went to a premiere of a film just a few days ago mm. in a white sari. The woman is just still astonishingly beautiful. I wish she was uh, she's still. 67 years old and looks every ounce the beautiful, mature, gorgeous superstar she is. I wish she was still acting. I do too. And I know she's pretty reclusive and quiet and doesn't talk. If anyone anywhere has any connection or sends this to her in some way, shape, or for, form... Lovely lady, rest assured that we would speak about you, about artistry and movie making, what your favorite roles are and what you've done. If you've seen our interviews, we don't go in the gutter like a lot of places do. You, This is a very safe place for a, 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 an actor of your caliber. You know she's in Krish, the, the first... I did not know that, no. I, I saw her, her Rithic, IMDb. Rithik, Priyanka, Ria, uh, Rekha, and Nasir are in I had no idea. the first Krish. No, and I th her last actual film credit on IMDb mm -hmm. is 2018. Yeah. Um, 
I'd love to see her work again. Yeah, I'd love that. Anyways, uh, but now also, uh, obviously, we've talked about a lot of it, but like the directing, I thought was, re- and I've not heard of this director before. No, um, but I thought he did a the the pacing of the thing was great for a two hour a classic film. Yeah, man, it was uh, it kind of flew by for me because I was engaged the entire time. Yeah, it it felt like ninety minutes. Yeah, and all of the things they're endearing, all of the the edits, and the things that are done that just don't work mm-hmm. they work because you know the limitations they probably had with budget the limitations they had with equipment and especially in some of the action sequences where it 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 technically doesn't work mm-hmm. but you you f- get the heart of the filmmaking and that's why it does work yeah, yeah. uh great great film yeah uh, really really enjoyed this one uh glad we finally got to some reka what should be our next reka film that we should watch please let us know what that should be and what should be our next classic that we should watch let us know down below